If you think it's clever to write wash me in the dust on a dirty car, there's an artist in te Texas who's way ahead of you. He turns dust into designs, and his canvas is a car window. Take a look. He's the dirty car artist and proud of it. It tickles me. I really enjoy it. With the dirt on his windows as a canvas, Scott Wade uses paintbrushes to remove the thick dust. What emerges from this contrast between light and dark is a detailed work of art. I've had many people question my sanity. You know, why in the world would you spend so much time to create this, uh, you know, just for the rain to come and wash it off? It's just like, you know, doing sandcastles down at the beach or park carving a pumpkin. Hey, it's not going to last, but it still is beautiful. It's fun and no reason not to enjoy it. The dirt roads around his hill country home provide a perfect mixture of limestone and clay. For what I like to call a natural canvas, it takes about a week and a half to two weeks to build up. And that's just from, you know, going back and forth to work every day. Wade works with computers for a living, but inspiration for his dusty distraction is always within reach. Because of, of the pressures of, of my job, this has become something I can do very quickly. And it something that doesn't take any investment in, in materials or money or anything like that. Wade has actually hit pay dirt with his fanciful pastime. With his art now attracting the attention of sponsors, Wade had to invent a quick way to get the fine Texas dust to stick to his windows. His secret? Oil, of course. But instead of Texas crude, it's a thin layer of almond oil. I experimented for a long time trying to figure out just the right kind of oil, so I tried corn oil, and I tried peanut oil, and I tried safflower oil. There isn't anything Wade can't whip up from dirt. I love doing some of the old masters. I've done Vermeer, I've done Van Gogh, I've done uh, Leonardo. I also do kind of goofy drawings, so just kind of funny faces that, I, that come out of my head. It takes Wade about an hour to brush out a masterpiece. He takes time to celebrate the beauty, then watch as the moment fades away. I don't do this to try to create immortal works of art. We are not going to be around forever, and nothing we do is going to last forever as much as we'd like it to. We need to learn to let go of that, I think, and just enjoy what's here. From a kid who used to draw pictures on dirty windows, Wade has developed a style all his own, and possibly a new art form. A lot of people ask me, uh, what's, what's the favorite one you've ever done? I say, the next one. I stole that from Frank Lloyd Wright, but it's really true because, it, you know, people say, oh, aren't you sad when the rain comes and washes? No, man, I get to do another one. Now here's Julie in L.A. with Living Room Live.